I have one minute left to get on that plane. <laughs> oh, the holiday street, yeah. Good. Just go to get back and see the family and everything like that? Yeah, very excited. What's practice been like the last couple of days? When did you guys get in and when did you start get going again? Uh, we got in, I want to say, like, the 26th of that night. Uh, we got after it that night. We had a really good practice, and it was better than we thought it would, especially coming back from break. What was just the overall motions at the end of that Missouri game like for you? Uh, we, just, we all just wanted to win, you know. Uh, you know, it sucks that, to lose, you know. Nobody wants to lose, and, like, when you lose, you know, it takes a big toll on you if you really want to win. The altercation with Mark at the end of the game, is that just because of the dunk afterward? I just wanted to win, you yeah. know, frustrated, wanted to win. Uh, that, was, that, was, that was the goal coming into the game, especially uh, from last year losing, we wanted to win. So, When you go, when you look back at the Missouri game, mm -hmm. I mean, it's never as bad as you think it is initially. Um, it's never as good either, but mm -hmm. what are your overall impressions of what you guys have to clean up? Um, rebounding. You know, uh, we worked on the rebound a lot uh, these past few practices, uh, you know, because we were number one and we wanted to keep that way. Uh, so we did a lot of drills uh, for rebounding. When guys, you know, and Brad made a point about it after mm -hmm. the game, when Brad, when guys intentionally try to take Kofi away on the mm -hmm. boards, I mean, and put two guys on him to, to yeah. box him out, you know, what, what are. How does that leave somebody open, or some? How, how do you guys? How can you guys take that, advantage of that opportunity? That just means uh, for our guards to get in there and help rebound. You know, if it, especially take, taking Kofi out, that's one of our. He's our leading rebounder. You know, uh, so taking him out you know, means more opportunities for our guards to try and get in there. Uh, I felt like we didn't do that so well uh, in the Missouri game, but uh, going forward, we will. Coach talked about lacking the fight in that Missouri game. Where does getting that fight, having that attitude just derive from, and where does that have to, I guess, just start out with, with the team? Um, the fight, like, just repeat Yeah, that, just, um, where, just where, do you, where do you have to find that attitude mm -hmm. of just coming out there for a dog fight? Oh, like, uh, where, where does that just have to come from? It's, it's a mindset, you know. Uh, for It's different for every person, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, some get going different ways, uh, whether that's, like, I don't know, just – other people are going different ways, and like one, once when we all link, find that one link, uh, we're really good. You know, when we connect, we're really good. But I feel like we didn't really connect that that game. What do you feel well, like the key is to find that connectivity? Um, just more chemistry. Pre-game prep, you know, going through practices. Uh, if we have good practices, we're ready for the next game. That's all it is. Where do you find your own fight? Where does that come from for you? Uh, it's always been me. You know, uh, I want to win, and uh, just. Yeah, this I want to win. That's just part of me, you know. It's like who wants to lose? But like, uh, I was mostly say like pride. You know, I I, I got a lot of pride, so I didn't want uh, that loss. You know, I'm sure any player wants as many minutes on the floor as they mm -hmm. can get. What do you think is the next step for you to get more playing time? Keep doing what I'm doing, you know, and uh, things will uh, improve going forward. Just keep doing what I'm doing. You feel like you have a green light right now, especially on yeah. perimeter shots. I mean, it seems like it, it's you and Trent right now mm -hmm. that are kind of carrying the yeah. team offensively, at least from out there. Yeah, coach always lets me know uh, when I have the green light. You know, I I feel like I always got it though. So, kind of as we're about to head into the new year, just mm -hmm. where do you feel like you are with your game as it's developing and just going along? Uh, it's developing really good. Uh, I know I have to work. I'm still working on my defense. I want to get better and better, but I feel like I want to improve in every spot possible. Where, go ahead. How'd you guys handle that loss of the team over the break when you guys weren't together? Were you in contact about uh, it? Or let it? Well, we let it go, right? Yeah. You know, once we get into the locker room, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, once when the game's over, you can't go back, change nothing. Uh, it's just next step moving forward. Uh, I know a couple guys were down about it, but uh, that's part of the game, you know. Um, it's just it's just all how you bounce back. Is it one of those you don't dwell on it as Not soon as you all, get off no. the plane? Or you something? don't dwell on no game, no game. You can't dwell on no game. Or but, it's gonna, huh? I'm sorry. No, it's gonna end up hurting you for the next game. You keep dwelling. But does it fuel mm -hmm. you going forward? Definitely, yeah. It fuels us. Fuels us. Uh, we don't want to lose. You know, uh, there was a couple key games that we had to win conference, but now we got to get going in the Big Ten. So hey, talk about that next team. Who are you playing tomorrow? Uh, North Carolina A team. What, what do you know about them so far? Uh, very athletic. Uh, that's, you know, there's a lot of things uh, the team can do, but we, we got a game plan to stop them. Coach, say anything about ball reversal while watching? 
Oh uh, yeah, uh, the ball was kind of sticking uh, in the past game, but uh, we definitely worked on it. And practice, uh, we had like uh, what, what was it? Uh, like ten assists and two turnovers, and within like a couple minutes, so it was nice. It prevents. Uh, it makes it easier to stop the ball from getting inside to Kobe, for example. So what? It makes it easier if you don't reverse the ball oh, for yeah. a defense to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're now two months in. I know it's probably normal for you now, but was there an adjustment period to the new three-point line when, when you had to get used to it or no? Not at all. I feel like I was shooting there already when the, from the original line. You haven't been afraid to get chippy or mix it up with some guys in games. Is that a, a role you want to bring as, as someone who can? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like that should be a role for everybody. If everybody is on that same page, I feel like we can't be stopped. Does that kind of go back to the connectivity and the fight, too, at the same time? Uh, yeah, like, if we're all fighting together, uh, I feel like no team no team can stop us. Uh, if we all play with that, like with Brad said, uh, with our heads on fire or something like that, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, if we all play like that, you know, I feel like no team can beat us. You seem like a mild-mannered guy when you're off the court. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm t different on the court. You know, it's supposed to be, that's how you're supposed to be. Uh, uh, I'm nice off the court, on the court, you know. It's time to, time to get at it. So I'm ready. Yeah. Is it a flip that just switches by itself? Do you have to do something? No, I don't have to do anything. It's, it's the mindset. You know, when you're on the co court, you got no friends. You know, nobody. Uh, nobody's your friend on the court other than that basketball. Mm. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. No problem. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, Al. All right, Kobe, and then we'll do Kobe.